Historically, Wall Street didn't really care who was in the White House. But the 2024 presidential elections could change that. According to Lazard's chief strategist the vote is essentially on whether the United States will continue to finance and support Ukraine. Ronald Temple told Business Insider. The policy has had little impact on the stock market. But that could change in 2024. According to Lazard's chief market strategist in 216 billion asset managers 2024 global outlook. Ronald Temple positioned the upcoming presidential election as a watershed moment that could have a major knock-on effect on both global economy and stock prices. In a follow-up interview, he told Business Insider why he expects the November 2024 contest to be so important. While past seven years have taken the United States on a wild political ride, it sometimes feels like stock market is paying next to no attention. Instead, investors have focused on the economy. And since 2016, that's given them plenty of reasons to be cheerful. No matter what voters think, Donald Trump, ranked by scholars as one of the worst presidents of all time, has seen Republican tax cuts, strong growth and a 50 rise in the SP500 index between his election in 2016 and 2021 which has historically seen outperformance. Low interest rates. Since Joe Biden took office in 2021, the benchmark has risen another 19 despite Wall Street's concerns about higher inflation and a recession that has yet to materialize. Ultimately, fact that many investors pick stocks based on a longer time horizon than four years means who is in. The White House doesn't have much impact on market. Temple said, I usually try to tell people that the presidential election is not going to be a game changer for stocks, he told Buy. You're buying all of a company's future cash flows, not just its cash flows over the next four years. However, the strategist added that things could be very different in November. Temple highlights 2024 elections as a potential turning point because of how the contest could affect global geopolitical balance. Under the Biden administration, Congress sent nearly $75 billion to war-torn Ukraine, according to data from the Council on Foreign Relations. Last month, the president vowed to continue providing aid even as Republican lawmakers blocked his request for additional funding. A Republican president could time that support. During the primary debates, Candidates Ron DeSantis and Vivek Ramaswamy said they thought providing financial aid to Kiev should not be a priority for the United States. But Temple told Bai that Washington backing away from Ukraine conflict could embolden Russia-China and set the stage for a full-blown geopolitical crisis that could damage global economy depress stock prices. Probably the most important thing in this election from a market and long-term perspective is the geopolitical aspects, he said. Whether the United States will continue finance support Ukraine.